Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. On the 29th of August 2024, famous zombie creator and YouTuber Mr. Off Waffles has now hit 2 million subscribers. First of all, I would like to congratulate Mr. Off Waffles on this tremendous achievement. It has been a long time coming. I've been a fan of your channel since day one. Well, not exactly day one, but a good 10 to 15 years. And the work that you have done for the zombies community has not gone unnoticed, my friends. The amount of ciphers that you've solved, the amount of storyline things that you've done for the zombies community has been unbelievable. Without you, and I'm sure many other people who agree with me, we wouldn't even probably have a zombie story to this day to the degree that we have. We'd have probably little understanding. And I guarantee you've had the biggest influence of any other zombies YouTuber when it comes to the zombies mode as a whole. The reason I make these statements about Mr. Off Ruffles and his influence on the zombies community is, well, let's take my example. So, when I first started playing Call of Duty Zombies way back in 2010 when I was just basically a kid, I was just sort of killing zombies for fun, really. I was, wasn't really playing the game most seriously. I'd get to the highest round possible with my friends back on Kino and Fire and stuff like that. I never thought about a zombie storyline. But then fast forward to like the Black Ops 2 era, sort of around there, I stumbled across Mr. Off Ruffles' um, channel. So I thought, oh, this looks really interesting. And I started watching all these videos about these different ciphers and theories about the zombie story mode. And it got me thinking a lot more about what the storyline could be. I started learning about characters such as Max's, Rick Toffin. And even though the characters I was playing like Taki and Nikolai Dempsey for crying out loud, so this guy came along. And ever since then, I've been a lot more engaged with the story alone. I understand it a lot better. And and still, despite its complications, I'm still trying my best to follow it. And that is thanks to the work of this man right here. So some of the videos that Mr. Roth Roth was used to put together were so intricately made. The amount of detail was incredible. Like you can see a couple of the thumbnail examples on screen here. There was This was during a time as well, if I remember correctly, especially during the Black Ops 3 era. He was doing his full university degree and he was making documentaries about the zombie storyline. And the zombie storyline, as many of us know, is a very, very complicated and confusing storyline with lots of twists and turns about the different universes universes, and what order things happen and things like that. And even to this day, Mr. Roth Rothers himself doesn't truly understand it. Nobody does, but... It's without question, in my personal view, that he's done by far the most work when it comes to this storyline. I'm going to keep saying that and reiterating that. It's just crazy and we should definitely thank him for that because um, I don't think Treyarch would have um, proceeded with the zombie storyline without him. I'm going to explain why. Because... He was making the community engage with zombies by making all these zombie videos with the storyline. And he's done interviews with Jason Blundell and the Treyarch team and all the rest of it. And gave us answers and he almost influenced Treyarch to make some of the decisions that they made. And that's incredible stuff. Also, without Mr. Roth Roffles or Milo, whoever you want to call him at this point, we wouldn't have the zombies timeline. Absolutely not. I mean, this timeline gave us what we wanted. We wanted a little bit of explanation with the zombie storyline. And I don't think without Myla's influence on that, we wouldn't have that. We wouldn't have any storyline and none of that would exist. And this, like, this is just one of the many things that he's done for the community. And I'll be honest with you, I think, I know he's got 2 million subscribers, but he's underrated and one of the most genuine YouTubers I've ever come across when it comes to being honest fair and so informative about the zombies mode as a whole now um there's a few people that do say to me that he completely abandoned the zombies community for a good couple of years um during the thought of the dead period of call of duty zombies and it wasn't just because of call of duty zombies was dying but he had a lot of um, personal issues going on and he did explain them in a video and you can't discredit that because people have lives. People don't always just want to make zombies videos all the time. Go, 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 go. Especially when they're going through serious mental and personal issues and all the rest of it. That's not a fair thing to say. I actually put a post out on one of the COD Next videos and it got a lot of likes. I think it was the second most popular comment stating that he should have been on that panel 
with Mr. Dart JD when they were discussing Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. He should have been there because I think he's had a genuine influence and put the most work out of all the YouTubers. I'm not saying Mr. Dart JD shouldn't be there because I like him as well. But having them two together would have been amazing. I mean, we could have got some questions answered by Mr. Offwockles about the story and where the game mode was going. And I'll be honest with you, Mr. Offwockles would have been honest, straightforward and straight to the point. And that's what I like about him. It's actually a real shame because when I saw the comments um, that I made that uh, when were made regarding that COD Next post that I may say he deserves to be on the panel, a lot of people were going on about how he abandoned the community and all the rest of it. And then he, Treyarch... Should, like should have stopped supporting him and um give invite him to the events but i completely disagree because i feel like people forget what he's done in that regard as well like people just remembering that bad period he went through in his life but it's his life at the end of the day and people almost discrediting what he's did and i've not done all this stuff most other youtubers haven't done this stuff with the exception of if you no one goes into this much effort than this guy did and just because he took a break to look after himself so what? I'd rather have a Mr. Roth Ruffles that ha that's happy, healthy, because if we don't have that, he's not going to produce good content for Black Ops 6. Imagine if he didn't do that and he was still burnt out to this day. We'd be talking a serious mental health crisis for all we know. We haven't got a clue. And it's so good that he's worked on himself. I'm so proud of him for doing that. And I commend him for everything he has achieved. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I've been making content about another YouTuber recently that's been a very negative topic, very controversial. And I thought, you know what? Instead of being negative about the zombies community, I also want to be positivity into it. And I think it's so important. While we also point out the wrongs that the zombie community are doing, we should also point out the achievements and the right things and the good things. That is why I'm making this video. And when other YouTubers make certain milestones, I will do the same. I'm pretty sure Codename Pizza is another YouTuber that's going to be reaching a million soon. I'll be making a video about him because he's another YouTuber that deserves everything he gets. He deserves all the happiness. He's a brilliant, brilliant YouTuber. He's not got involved in all this stuff. Same with Mr. Roth Ruffles. And unfortunately, the, some of the YouTubers are involved in all this controversial stuff. That's why it's a lot more negative. But we need to acknowledge these guys' achievements. Once again, thank you, Mr. Roth Ruffles. Congratulations on 2 million subs and keep going, man. And I look forward to hopefully potentially being there with you one day. Who knows? Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's hope there's some more zombies news that's good in the near future instead of negative. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.